All right, guys. Um, I am going to... Uh, Queen City Pickers had a really good idea. And that was for me to do some really quick, um, short, simple videos to walk you through the various steps of the process. Um, so... I thought it was great. I thought that was a really good idea. That way, if there's just like one part of it, um, you know, you don't have to go back through the whole show that we did um, on uh, the Profit Talk channel. You know, you could just come and say, okay, uh, what I can't remember what she said about the background or I can't remember what she said about, you know, adding text, that kind of thing. Um, so this first one is going to be... Um, the template process, you know, starting the new, uh, a new, um, uh, image. Because when I used the template, um, and it could have just been me that I had a brain fart. I don't know. Who knows? Um, but I had the text. I didn't think about it and I didn't clear it off, you know, like clear off the the text and pictures that they have on the back on the template so when I made the first the first shirt that I made uh that was a part of it that was on the background of the shirt was you know place your design here and that you know the mountains and the moon thing um but as long as your as long as you create an image that is the proper size and it has the proper background and the proper ppi dpi then it's fine. It's exactly the same as the template. Um, so we're in GIMP. We go to File, New, okay, Image Size, uh, 4500 by 5400. Um, and if we change this, well, I wonder if we change this to pixels if it shows you, yeah, 15 by 18, which is what they said. Um, so it can be, you know, you can do it either way. It means the exact same thing. It doesn't matter. All right, drop down advanced options. This is the resolution that I was talking about where when you first open this up, it's probably going to say 72.00. We want it to be 300. And keep this chain locked. That keeps your, your X and Y the same. Um, color space is fine. Fill with transparency and what that means is that your design because if you leave this at fill with foreground or background or white whatever you choose is what is going to be behind your design it will be a part of your design basically you'll be doing your design on top of that color so you'll get a t-shirt that looks like that whole 15 by 18 inches will be white or black or whatever you know, you have as the background. So you want transparency. And then click OK. And there it is. And remember, these dots that make you feel drunk, these checks, that's how that's a transparent background. It really kills my eyes to look at it, um, especially this morning because I have a really bad visual migraine. So I've already got that kind of want, 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 want thing going on with my eyes. Um, anyway. This, um, that's pretty much it. You're ready to start now. This is over here. I need, to, I'm going to make a video about this, about your layers and things. Um, but this is the base image that you just created. Now you can either create a new one each time or you can, um, you can just save it as a template. Uh, enter the name merch blank and then now we should have uh, wonder how that works it used to be but I guess not oh I bet when you do file new up here choose template merch there it is. So it'll be, I'm assuming the, uh, it's putting the ones that we make at the top or else it could just be by 
um, date or whatever. So, and I, I would probably go ahead and suggest that you do that. Go ahead and make it a template so that that way, every time you come into GIMP, you just do File, New, Template, Pick It. And it'll have all the settings in there. So that's it for this one. Um, go back, watch it a couple times if you need to. Uh, if something doesn't make sense to you, as always, let me know in the comments. Um, don't send YouTube messages if you want a quick answer because I always forget to check them. I just checked them this morning and some were from like eight months ago, guys. So, yeah. Uh, that's it. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and knock out a couple of these today. Um, I don't know if I'll get them all up today, but um, over the course of the week, I'll get them all up. And I'm still going to do the Inkscape ones. Don't think I'm not going to. Um, just, I think that this is more helpful right now. Uh, so, thanks for watching, guys. Love you. Don't forget, you know, all that good jazz. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you later.